Hey Knucklehead Garage fans, how's it going? Today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Quite often we'll post photos on our page of a before and after of a vehicle that we've done, but we're going to start doing things in stages so you kind of get to see everything that happens. So here's the basic start on the vehicle. It really has kind of already went through phase one through a cleanup. It's a little dirty now because I've been driving it. But you'll notice the stance on the Jeep, which is normal. They kind of have this front end nose dive. And so what we're going to be doing is adding a three inch leveling suspension lift. So the front's going to go up three inches. The back's going to go up two inches. And that'll make it level. And that'll be the next step in the project. So here's a good view of how it looks right now in stock form. And we're going to go through about three or four steps in this video. And at the end, you can see the end result. There's a lot of things that we did uh, getting ready for this video. Again, it went through cleanup. So a lot of the things have been done. When we get to the final stage, we'll walk through that detail process one more time. And you can kind of look at how you can make your vehicle, especially your Jeep, because we love Jeeps here at Knucklehead Garage, a little cooler. Hey Knucklehead Garage fans, here we are with Phase 2 completed. What we've done on Phase 2 is we have given this Jeep a 3 inch suspension lift. How we've accomplished that is using a spacer. 3 inch spacer in the front, 2 inch spacer in the rear, which kind of leveled it out. You might have noticed that. I am a big fan of the spacer lift for a couple of reasons. First, it doesn't alter the ride of the vehicle. You're simply using a spacer. We'll get here so you can see it. So you've added a spacer to the top of the spring. You do have to add an extension on the shock at the bottom but you didn't alter how the vehicle rides the other thing I like about the spacer lift is if you get to a point to where you say I don't want my vehicle lifted anymore I want to go back to stock ride height stock wheels and tires you simply remove the pieces that you installed and you're back to stock what this 3 inch lift will do will allow us to put on wider wheels and 35 inch tall tires which we're going to get installed and then we'll film that. See you soon. Welcome back Knucklehead Garage fans and Jeep lovers to the finale of the 2009 Jeep Wrangler X build. I built this one for myself to use and uh, wanted a clean used one. It took a while to find, but I did locate a two owner, 69,000 miles. I didn't want to buy a new one because my tendency is to never drive it so I don't hurt anything and completely defeats the purpose of owning a Jeep. Now you notice out back, I chose not to put on a oversized wheel and tire on the rear. So I just found a tire cover on eBay, 25 bucks, would add to any Jeep. I did go over the top on the wheels and tires. These are Moto Metal 20 by 12. You notice the dish on the wheel. Negative 44 offset, tires are 35, 1250, 20s. I might change out the aftermarket sidebar. I like the uh, factory one a little bit better. It sits up higher and it's square. I had a local sign shop make my hood decal. It is, I wanted to play off of the Wrangler X and so we just designed that and made it. It's two inches tall and 28 inches long. Also added a bra on the hood. You can find those on eBay anywhere for 25 bucks. Probably going to add an Angry Bird grill to it just for that final touch. This thing looks like a monster for just a two-door Jeep. I mean, it is really huge in person. 
Again, I want to thank all my Knucklehead Garage fans, Jeep lovers, for taking the time to look at this Jeep. Have a great day, and let's do some Jeeping this summer.